Hey guys, what is up? It is the guest again out here today to bring you some Pokemon Sun and Moon news. And today we got some Coro Coro leaks. And you know, to th this is the week we find out about Rockruff's special secret. So let's get right into this. So, first off, we see that Rockruff either has two evolutions or. Actually, I should probably switch these around. Looks like they go that way anyway. Yeah, that. That, that looks kind of better. Alright, so apparently Rockruff will either evolve into one of these during the night and day, or its form will change from night and day. Um, we did see before that it might evolve into a werewolf due to other leaks and stuff, um, but I'm really I, I, I don't mind it. It looks pretty cool, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what's with the dark one, because it has like these weird like things on its side. It looks like its tail is more of attached than it is actually there. Where the one on the right just looks like a regular wolf. Um this also makes me think about the there's um another like legendary that people are thinking of that's like the Twilight Pokemon where like in the mythology that Lunala and Sol Galio came from, there were two wolves or whatever chasing the moon and sun, and whenever they caught up to each other, that there would cause an eclipse. So I'm thinking that it has to do something with this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's been a while since I've had to mention that or talk about it in general, so I'm not sure if that's the same thing. But I'm kind of looking forward to see how these come out in the gameplay. Um, so let's move on to the next one, which is the Ultra Beasts. Now we see in this page that now there are not one but two new Ultra Beasts and let's just do that and so my thoughts are that the Ultra Beast to the top left is the lady that runs the um, Aether Association. Uh, fuck what was her name? It was like... what was it? Ooh. Ooh. Luzamine. Luzamine, sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like the lady on the top left is Luzamine. The one from the top right is someone that's going to be from the uh, Team Skull. And at the bottom, we already talked about who we think that is, but that gets me thinking like, these could either be aliens or these can be like alchemical mistakes or something like that. I don't really know. Maybe they're homunculi. I, I, I've been trying to save all of it for a, a maybe conspiracy or whatever video like later on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not, but I feel like this is definitely it. Um, I feel like the white uh, Ultra Beasts are going to be good and any of the red ones will be bad. But I also feel like that these Ultra Beasts were made in batches. So like the mysterious assistant whose name I can never remember is Ultra Beast number one. She was the first attempted Ultra Beast and Ultra Beast two and were just Ultra Beasts created afterwards to make them better or, you know, something like that. Um, but as you can see, the Ultra Beast Luzamine is beauty and the team Skull Guy is expansion where we have no idea what the first one is going to be named. And then after that we have a section we're not really paying attention to the top we're paying attention more to the bottom here let me just make this bigger um it's not much bigger but um this article says that we are going to be finding out type null's uh secret or true power in the next thing so that probably means that he will be losing that mask and you'll be able to see his face it also been hinted at that he was made in the same kind of way as Mewtwo was. I'm trying to extend this more because uh, it's not letting me. Um, it, stop it! <laughs> if you can see here, it shows that Alolian Pokemon are apparently going to be making a debut in Pokemon Go, or it will not make their debut, but make an appearance in Pokemon Go. We don't know exactly how this is going to work, if it's going to work with the weather, or just tent, like it to be in specific areas. Like, will these Pokemon only be available in Hawaii and tropical places? We don't know. Um, they didn't really go much into detail with it. And the last one shows the anime. 
Um, now, for those of you who have been keeping up with Pokemon X, Y, and Z, uh, spoiler alert, Ash becomes runner-up in the, uh, you know, the Kalos League. I'm gonna say Unova, what the fuck? Um, but I'm just speculating from this one screenshot or multiple screenshots or whatever and then the picture that the main character that we've been seeing in the trailers, the way he's been dressed is kind of how they were, te I guess they were teasing Ash's kind of look in a way. Um, I think this is going to be the first time in a, in a game where we are able to take on the appearance of Ash with clothes because we've seen those pants, that backpack, and that sugar in the game. Um, I don't really know if the hat is, like, if we're just going to get a regular red hat or whatever, but he's also going to be getting a Rotom Dex from Professor Sycamore. Um, I fe believe he's going to meet William Oak or whatever the guy's name is uh, through the series, and he's going to be helping him out, learn Z moves and everything. But it looks like how close Rowlet is to Ash. Ash might be getting a Rowlet as his partner. Uh, Pikachu will be learning a Z move, but we see no Greninja, which means my theory was correct, and as soon as he leaves the Kalos League, he's just dumping Greninja. Um, it really sucks to see that, because Greninja was an awesome Pokemon, and it, they really hit it off. They, you know, Greninja was... Greninja was, in like a sense, just like part of Ash, more than any of his other Pokemon really have been. Um, Greninja had this form that it could only be reached when Ash helped him with it. So I'm guessing there's going to be a really touching scene at some point where he has to leave Greninja behind and Greninja just doesn't want to accept it and just runs away or whatever. Um, I'm expecting that to be like a whole few episodes on its own um, because this is going to be a really touching subject because, you know, Ash and Greninja have been through a lot together in those, in the, those few episodes. Um, I don't know if this is also hinting to uh, Charizard maybe coming back uh, for the traveling system, or maybe he's just gonna have to like rent Charizards and Lapras's. Um, I'm guessing he might also get a Rockruff. I don't know where Litten and Poplio might come into this. Again, they could also be one of the starter Pokemon too, or one of them can belong to the girl back here. Um, and then the top right, if you look really close, you can see uh, Team Rocket on a the stuffed animal thing. I keep forgetting these names because I was so used to the Japanese ones and then it switched to the RFS or whatever. But I'm guessing at some point they're going to get the stuffed animal Pokemon. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing to talk about. So yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the Pokemon news for Koro Koro? And what do you think is going to be coming up? Who do you think on Team Skull or uh, Team Aeth or the Aether Association will be the Red Ultra Beast? Um, I have a good feeling that it's going to be either the leader or the edgy kid. And yeah, if you if you have any ideas what may be coming up in the future, leave a comment down below. And if you like videos and want to see more like this, please subscribe. Uh, leave a like down below if you like the news, of course. Uh, and until next time, hope you all have a great day. And as Pokemon Glazed will be coming back, not this week, but next week, hopefully. I'm um, still getting stuff uh, sorted out and everything. I have a friend staying over next weekend, so I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to edit those episodes. But I'll try my hardest. And so until next time, bye bye